section of the video covers how to search for quality images that attract high-paying clients. Okay, so you visit isotopphoto.com and search for surprise man. Okay, you search for surprise man, then you scroll down to search for or look for a, the image of your choice. So I'll be using this particular video, this particular image to carry out this particular right so you tap on it and click on download okay you see download here is download you click on download so you the image will download so you, i can say download again because i've downloaded it before so after which then you go and search for remove dot bg remove dot bg to remove the background of this image then you tap on it and search for the image which you want to remove the background so here is the image so you click on done all right now i have removed the background from this image so you can see it's no longer like the original okay so all you need to do is to click on download so you download then after which you can now move to your piece of life to import this image and start blending your background or gradient according to my channel you'll be learning how to blend a background along with the image okay so we are going to use a plain background okay all right all you need to do is to click on where we have three cycles then click on the plain background and say okay all right so you click on the plus sign click on from gallery so that we are going to import our image we're going to this is the image i want to use you put this image then you tick good you drag it down and bring it down okay so now the next step is to import a shape this is shape now we make use of our color picker first you click on gradient then click on the plus sign and click on the bucket so from the bucket then you have to drag down drag down this button to the end drag it down to the end they tick ok you tick OK, then you come here, you go up here and bring it down. You stop at this point and say OK. You tick OK. All right, so you tick good. So do what we have. So you have to return it, turn it upside down and size it. You can decide to size this. OK. All right, so this is what we have right now. So the next stage is to give it a color by clicking on this icon here you click here then you see color you have to apply a color on it again then you enable color so you have red here so this is blue if you click on the plus sign you will see color of your choice you can choose any color if it's blue or red color if this is what we want so I think this is okay. You tick good. All right. So this is what we have. So we have blend the image now. The upper part of it, we can click on where we have two square. So the two square, you click on color. Then you click on either yellow background or blue background. So blue background is preferable because of what we want at the meantime. time all right so this is actually how to blend an image alongside with the background okay so it is achieved using the gradient tool and also using color tool all these are together to give us a perfect and dynamic background